Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Linking tables is a fantastic feature that allows access to connect to many different types of external data sources and then manipulate them as if they were native access tables. When you create a link to a data source, such as an Excel spreadsheet, Access doesn't import the table, nor does it change the type of data to which it's linked. However, you can then harness the power of Access to query, add, edit, and modify the data in the linked table as if it were a na native Access table. A linked table in Access can be created by selecting Tables and then clicking New in the database container. In the New Table dialog box, choose Link Table and click OK. In the Link dialog box that appears, use the Files of Type drop-down to select the type of file you wish to link to, like a DBase file, Excel, Exchange, HTML or text files, SharePoint services, or any database that you can access from your computer using Open Database Connectivity. So we have a tremendous amount of flexibility in what we can connect to. So if we choose Microsoft Excel by example, you can then select the particular spreadsheet you'd like to link to, and then click Link. Depending on the type of object to which you're linking, it may launch a particular wizard like Link Spreadsheet Wizard. And what you would do is answer the necessary questions until you've successfully linked the object. So here, for example, there's one sheet in our particular Excel spreadsheet we're linking to, and it just wants to know, does the first row contain our column headings? And we check the checkbox, click Next, that's it, click Finish. It'll tell you it successfully, I'll give it a different name here, it'll tell you when it's done, it's finished linking the employees one, or whatever the name of the file is, and you can see it then in your database. And a link table is always represented by a right pointing arrow which points at a globe, a spreadsheet icon, or some other icon type depending on the source data. And link tables are useful because when you make your changes to them through access, the link automatically updates the original data source. or if someone changes the data source the next time you open that particular linked table you would be able to then see the changes that were made. Also, when you delete a linked table from your Access database it's important to remember that you're just deleting the connection or reference to the data source not the actual linked data source itself. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.